anyway, let's start. Trump. Apparently he's got the shell, same shells as, as uh, Ragnar, the same guns. A large destroyer leader armed with 150mm guns, officially listed as a light cruiser in the Royal Netherlands Navy. This was the one that basically had nothing going for it. It looked like absolute dog. Equipment wise, it didn't have a heal, it didn't have a smoke, it's got an 8% speed boost. All of this just in order to have uh, the airstrike. That was like the gimmick, the airstrike. That only has 21mm HE pen, which is tragic. Because, I mean, you can't, you literally can't pen anything with it. Um, guns have an 8 second reload. What? 24.5k health, which isn't impressive at all. Ten cam torps, thirteen point seven. Once again, nothing special there. Thirteen point three range, and the speed was a tragic thirty-three point five. So it's hilariously slow as well. And I mean, it looks nice, but it's huge. It's it's holy shit! It's huge. Look at this. Holy shit! I whoa, ho. Oh. Look at look at that. That's that's Jesus. Light cruiser sized. Slow and this big. This thing better have some absolute god tier armor to make up for this. <laughs> oh no! Oh fuck me! Oh yeah! No, honestly, this thing holy tra holy tragedy. This thing looks like such a fucking victim. Jesus, it looks like such a fucking victim, man. Holy shit! This is the kind of ship you want to face in the Elbing, because imagine how much your AP is going to arm on this thing. Holy shit. No smoke, no heal. Like, no speed. This, this ship is... It's a goddamn mystery, that's what this ship is. Maybe he has layered armor. Surely. Sure, surely, Kofi. Surely it's going to have a lot of layered armor. What the fuck? It looks like it has a citadel. Why does it look like it has a citadel? It doesn't say citadel, but it has internal armor. It has internal armor, but this is not a good thing at all. This is just gonna arm a lot of shells. It's literally a DD that's gonna fucking arm a lot of shells. Holy shit. This is actually awful. Right? Right? This is awful. This is awful. It's gonna arm all the AP in the world. Look, if you want armor, you want it on the outer layer. You want it here. You don't want it... Shells go in, and then they arm in here. That's... Hello? BB, sure, but Cruiser is gonna love this thing. Holy shit, Des Moines, like all Americans, all, all Soviets with their short fuse, like everything is gonna arm on this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is terrible. This is terrible. It's, it, how, how is it possible that Trump looks even worse now than when I first looked at it? Jesus. It's actually worse now than when we first looked at it. That's impressive because my my first opinion of, of the ship was literally a 30 minute video where I tried to figure out how it doesn't suck. And it's worse than that. Jesus. It's actually worse than I first thought. Let's see. Agana. A new series, uh, wait, a series of new generation light cruisers armed with powerful torpedoes and featuring moderate protection. The small and fast cruisers of this class were designed to lead destroyers and submarine fleets. Interesting. Nine second reload, 30 second turn time. Oof, for a light cruiser. Oof. 25.8 for a tier 5. Torps, 12 came torps that do 21k. Oh Jesus, these are gonna be nasty at the tier. A real ship. An actual real ship. 14.6 base range, 35, already faster than Trump at tier 5 in the cruise. 
<laughs> oh no. Four came Hydro. Fighter plant. Hmm. It, very furutaka ish. Very furutaka ish in, 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 in Hull. And that's a lot of broadside, though. That's a lot of broadside. That's a lot of broadside. It's got a goddamn hangar on top of it. Let's see if it gets the uh, armored deck of the Furutaka. Nope. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hello, wife. Thank you for the afford it. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Imagine trying to kite away in this thing. Holy shit. Overmatchable Citadel. Overmatchable Citadel deck. And overmatchable Stern Citadel. Overmatchable, overmatchable, overmatchable. Holy shit. Yo, this thing. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yeah, you don't want to get shot at in this thing. Holy shit. Tier 5 moment. Jesus. That thing is gonna. Kaboom. I think it's gonna kaboom quite hard. Gokasa. 1943. A development of the Agana class cruisers with enhanced artillery armament, more powerful propulsion system, and increased speed. Okay. Layered armor? No. It had, had an exposed citadel with 60mm plating. I mean, low tier BB shooting HG are gonna citadel that thing. Nine second again, oof. 28.3, 14.6. I should have checked where the torps were. 37 point. Damn, for tier six cruiser. This fucker is fast. Are you kidding me? This thing is fast. Gets the useless consumable, but if you can slot Hydra instead, that's good. Okay, where's the Torps at? Oh, in the center. One quadruple in the center. I mean, it's good for the YOLO. Very hard to think Torps. It's good for the YOLO. And I guess you can launch them in other situations as well. There's two? Oh yeah, shit, there's another one hidden there. Oh, that's actually quite a nasty torp broadside. That's quite a nasty torp broadside. Eight of them. Huh. How's our... Okay. Uh-oh. 25? At tier 6. What can you bounce? Dunkirk? What else? Not a whole lot else. Three, five, six. Yeah, you can bounce Arizona's and shit. And that's pretty much it. New Mexico's, Normandy's, Sharn, Odin, <laughs> Odin tier eight. By the way. <laughs> anyway, uh, seventy-six millimeter plating. Right. Oof. Oof. This is this is pretty brutal though. This big fucking dumb box with a lot of overmatchable armor. This thing is gonna eat sit so easily, I think. It's got 25 deck here at least, which is better, but I mean, once again, shit like Warspite is gonna love this thing. God damn. Nah. Yeah, you, 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 you kinda don't wanna be shot at. It's got plenty of speed though. Richmond, thank you for 56. It, it does 37.5. With speed boost, that's what, almost 39? Or sorry, with speed flag, so uh, it's gonna be able to juke some shit for sure. Omona, 1944. A light cruiser armed with 1,255mm guns. The ship's AA defenses were reinforced through the use of the latest 100mm dual-purpose mounts. Pog. Can't wait to see these things shred the planes, chat. 12.5 second reload, that's brutal. 
36 and can turret first. That's also brutal. Thank you, Edgar. Thank you very much, Edgar Allan Pub. Omono, 32.2. 17.6k in range. On a tier 7. Zhao crying in a corner. Holy shit. 24k M tor 24k torps as well. 13k in range on them. Only 33 knots of speed though. Hmm. God damn. Okay, so two in the front. It's gonna be three in the back though? Oh, never mind. It was only 12 guns. 12 guns. Interesting. And the torps are on the sides. That's a bit of a downgrade. Could be okay for YOLO though. Hmm. Looks very wide. Do we get any armor now? Because we lost a lot of speed from tier 6. Tier 6 was 37.5, tier 7 is 33. So do we get any armor to make up for a complete lack of speed that we just lost? Okay. Oof, it's literally the same armor. Is the Citadel better protected? Eh, yeah, a bit better. Yeah, a bit better. This is still a big, fat, fat, dumb box. Thank you, Admiral Throne, for the 61. This is still a big, flat, dumb box. So that's gonna be brutal. Because good luck kiting with this kind of dumb box behind you. Shit, good luck pushing with this kind of dumb box either. Hmm. Kinda like the looks of it, though. I mean, the level of detail, once again, art department, very, very good as always. What is this thing, chat? Why is there a big wooden plank in the middle? Oh, is it... Ah, is it f to launch the torps? It's like uh, the backwash, whatever. To block it? Probably. I would assume they launched the torps and this is here too. Some sort of backwash or something? I don't know. Do the tubes need that, though? I wonder what this thing is. Poor repairs? Hmm. No clue. Cool looking ship, though, but uh, the armor on these things is looking off. Tubes shouldn't need those. That's what I'm thinking. Tubes shouldn't have backwash. Or back blast. Shimanto, 1944. A large light cruiser with powerful artillery armament represented by 15 dual purpose 150mm guns. And these guns have now been buffed to 30mm so pen. Free flag, pog. 14 second reload, 180 turn times 6 seconds there. Jesus. That's a... Uh, that's his change. Six seconds. That's stupid fast for a cruiser. Wonder if, wonder if that's a typo. Because the one earlier was 36, and now it's six. I wonder how much of a typo that is. Or is it intentional? I don't know. Forty-four point five k health. Zhao, once again, weeping in a corner. 24k torps, 15km range. That's actually pretty cranked. 18.7 range, holy shit. Matt Clem, thank you for the three. And 34.5, interesting. Yo, these turrets look completely out of place. Holy fuck, these turrets look out of place. This looks like a bad mod added to the game. This, <laughs> this, 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 this looks this looks like someone copy pasted some awful looking turrets 
on like a Mogami or something. How the fuck did these rotate in, in six seconds? Thank you, Eresh Best Waifu. Hello? I don't understand. This, this looks so out of place. This looks so dumb. <laughs> this looks this looks so dumb, Chad. This looks very strange. This looks so out of place. Art department question mark. It looks less out of place here because the hull is fatter, thicker, but at the nose it looks hilariously stupid. Where's the torp sent? Oh, they're in here? How many is it per side? Can we count shit? How many is it per side? Is it triple launchers or quadruples? It's eight, so it's quads. That's a lot of torps if it's quads. If it's both are quads, then that's a lot of torps. Are you really fat shaming the turrets? I kinda am, man. Imagine I wanna see this chonker turn in six seconds from here to here. Holy shit. That's like an overweight ballerina. Like, I wanna see it. Like, just, like, I wanna, I wanna witness it. How the fuck? You're gonna get knocked out a lot? I don't know. It has to be a typo, that's what I'm thinking. 32 millimeters of plating, okay. Interesting. You actually get some armor all of a sudden. 20, well, some armor. 25s and 27s. I mean, that's not gonna protect too much, is it? Okay, okay, okay. This is like Mogami or uh, Shim uh, Zao type of citadel. This is literally Zao type of citadel here. 35, 60. Hmm. I mean, it has some blocks, some flat blocks here, but it looks less mega vulnerable than the earlier ones. This angle is still fucking brutal, though. This angle is still fucking brutal, though. This look still looks fucking brutal, though. What is the main citadel armor? It's 100 plus... 25, 125. Not that impressive. I mean, it's fucking light. But you have some opportunities to not get smashed. I mean, if you close range, though, you're gonna get smashed. Spaced, not really. It's more like layered, but extremely thinly layered. There's not really enough space here to call it spaced. It's more layered than anything. How fast was this thing? 34.5. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. They are, they're looking quite vulnerable though. Let's see, Japan. Takahashi. A light cruiser with enhanced AA and torpedo armament that embodied the development of a previous project. Okay. 14.6. I guess it's not a typo. They're supposed to turn giga fast. 49.5k health. Okay. And a heal. Zhao scratching his head. Sir, I'm supposed to be the heavy cruiser. Again, 15km range torps. 18.7km range. 
Zhao, once again, scratching his head. Sir, sir, excuse me, sir, 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 we're giving, sir. I don't understand we're giving, sir. Dude, these turrets look so weird, though. You can tell these are made the fuck up. It can be a typo if both ships share the same turret. True, true, true. It's a wide booty. Eh? In general, a lot of stuff on the ship. It's pretty f goddamn wide. Wait, what the hell are these torp tubes? Okay, so there's the torp. That's like just where they load them. Two internal launchers, two internal launchers. Okay. I think the ship will look good if the turrets didn't look so, I don't know, goofy? Is that the right word? The turrets look really goofy. Torp angles look bad. It's probably IGN torp angles. They tend to not be the most imp uh, most impressive unless it's like a targo. Okay. Okay, armor type changes. 25, 25. What's the turrets like? Not very impressive. Gonna break for sure. 27 and 25. Once again, not that impressive. Okay, what the fuck is this gap? Interesting. I guess the this thing sits there? Yeah, this thing sits there. Makes sense. Wall. Wall. That's a big citadel. Holy shit, that's a big citadel. I'm just saying, this is all AP bombers! Man, you're seeing AP bombers coming at you in this thing. Jesus. Holy shit. Yeah, that's not gonna be fun at all. Red carpet for the CVs, right? It's all above the waterline, and it's all kind of flat as well. And 105, which is fuck all. 160 here, but that's not gonna protect you much. Bit of a step here to catch some extra shells. Huge goddamn booty. Thank you, gamer. Appreciate it, my dude. 66 months, goddamn. Dude, this is a. F Look at the flatness of the. Oh my lord. Dude. Jesus. Yeah, this looks kind of nasty. I feel like this thing is gonna be very, very juicy. Holy shit, I'm very juicy to shoot at. 33 mid. Is this the first time we've seen 33 millimeter armor? It might be. Where else are we? I don't think we've seen 33 in the game before this. Yeah, this might be the first time we're seeing 33. We've seen 35 on Riga, and 32 is common. But 33, I think this might be the first. What a convenient number, yeah. Protects against the uh, protect against Yamato or match. Does it protect protect against Chikishima or match? I don't think it does. Sh what about incomparable? Wait, what is incomparable? What is in five oh eight? Isn't it? Yeah, they know they can easily or match this. Yamato can't. They can both or match thirty seven. Huh. But Yamato, Yamato can't ever match. Inter what a weird number. Interesting. And the tier 10. Yoda. 1944. A large light cruiser with unique main battery artillery composition. 18 dual purpose 150mm guns housed in 6 turrets. Dual purpose 18. Oh my god. The AA in this thing must be monstrous. Right, child? Right, champ? Okay, same 40 second reload. 55.3. Yamato uh, Zao scratching his head. We had call, thank you for the 65, my dude. 15, 24k, 18k range, 34 knots. Not that fast. Hmm. Okay. So, this turret looks even more goofy with this rangefinder thing. 
I'm just saying. Extremely goofy looking. The ship itself looks pretty cool. Pretty thick, though. Looks a lot of shit going on here. Interesting. The torpedo tubes. You're in here. That's a big light... That's a really thick light cruiser, isn't it? Holy shit, this thing is huge. The engineer. Flamo, I missed your stream. Where have you been all this time? On honeymoon. I got... I had a wedding and shit. Who knew? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, do we finally get armor? Okay, turrets are just as vulnerable as the tier 8. 30. At tier 10. Yikes. Yikes. The bridge is 1 to 1 Atago Takao. Really? Is it really? Interesting. Why is there a tiny bit of bitter armor at the low front? Oh, that's the barbette. This thing here. That sticks through the ship. Or more like it's the line, upper lining of the barbette. Interesting that it's so bet much better armed than the rest of it. Okay. What do we have here? 110 millimeter plating. What was the outer layer? 25. Okay, so not a whole lot of armor here. 65, 35. Okay, yikes. 110, 65. 35. Once again, unmatchable by super ships. Big ass goddamn citadel. Big AP bomb victim again. I find it interesting that these things are supposed to be AA cruisers and shit, but they seem incredibly vulnerable to AP bombers and they have no flak. Maybe just a coincidence, chat. I don't know. Maybe maybe just a coincidence. At the bow, at the lowest point, there was something orange. You mean here? Just the bottom. Hmm. That's the keel. Yep. Interesting. Is it real? It does kind of look like. Let me let me actually look at. Okay, chat. We're gonna look at this. Picture this into your head. Then we're gonna check out. Okay. Let's picture it in your head. There we go, look at that toggle. Thank you. Mm, it's not one to one though. It's not, I disagree with it. It's got differences. I think we checked that the last time and it wasn't completely identical. It has differences for sure. Because bridge is higher, and I think leaner. The main part is the same? I don't know about that. Let's look at it from the side. No, no way it's the same. No way it's the same. Completely different this area. It has similarities, sure, but it's not the same. Not the same. Material is the same. <laughs> Fits, he sits. Thank you for the 10. Yes, and uh, the honeymoon was a lot of fun. The honeymoon was great. Really enjoyed it. Okay, secured. What, wait, we can look at Tokachi first. What is Tokachi? Tokachi. 
1936, a project to re-equip the Furutaka class with 127mm dual-purpose artillery placed in six twin turrets. Was this the IGN Furutaka? Oh, sorry, IGN uh, Atlanta. 7 second reload. HEAP. 32k Alpha. 12k charge, 17. 13.6, 34.5. Torpedo reload booster. Hydro fighter. Man, it looks so little, though. It looks so little, though. Seven second Atlanta with six gun, six turrets, tall guns. Hmm. Three torps per side and a torpedo reload booster. Seems sus. Gets for Taka's deck armor. Actually, even more. I think. No, wait, 48 sounds about right. 76mm. Ar it's armor. No, this is Citadel armor. Never mind. Thank you. 25 at tier 7 isn't too bad on a cruiser. Holy fucking box. Holy box, box, box. Holy box. That's a big fucking box. Jesus. That's high above the waterline box as well. Jesus. I mean, you can try to protect this box by angling this, but if you face the overmatch, oh boy, you're, you're in for a bad time. A box, box, box. Yeah, that's a big box. Okay, let's see what else. Sekiryu. Powerful strike aircraft carrier that embodied the further development of the Taiho class. In terms of size, hangar capacity, and AA defense power, she significantly surpassed her prototype. Yes, because uh, IGN carriers are really weak in this game. They needed to be buffed a bit more, for sure. They needed to be buffed a bit more. For sure. I think we looked at this. Yeah, we looked at these numbers. Auto, auto, soon you're, soon you're gonna add a third auto ASW here. Truly a class designed for innovative gameplay. Everything about the ship is automated and the planes can't change elevation. High quality gameplay. Jesus, that's fucking scary looking amount of planes on this fucking thing, man. This was the one that had it like something like 12 flak or was it 14 flak? I, I mean, look at the whole sheer amount of AA here. Secondary is an AA. That's a lot of fucking duck. Oh yeah, can't detonate, can't burn. Pretty strong features, man. 14 flak, was that the one? I think this was the one, yeah. 14 flak. Can this thing at least be Citadel? Of course, not from range. Immune. What about broadside? Hold, wait, what the fuck is this armory? Holy! <laughs> what? Holy shit! Okay, is this fair? What the fuck? 150mm angled plate into gigantic space, followed by 50mm Citadel. This is the black hole armor to end all black holes. Vulnerable class, by the way. Holy fucking shit, are you kidding me? Spaced and angled. Holy fuck. That's, and that's a combined armor of 200 as well. Jesus fucking Christ, man. And you can't get the overmatch on the on the top part either. Good lord. Also, this is so angled, this fucking plating. It's angled outwards so fucking steeply. Jesus. Dude, is this fair? Don't tell me. Oh boy. Of course. Oh, of course. There's gonna be hidden plates in here, isn't there? Yeah, it's gonna be fucking hidden plates in here, guaranteed, so you can't nose in Citadel either. 
Jesus. And in the stern as well? Yeah, in the stern as well. Wow. Not all classes are created equal in this game, boys. Not all classes are created equal. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Totally not a protected class, by the way. Equal to everyone else. Okay. Oh boy. Admiral Ushakov. Year of design, 1949. A large, 100,000 ton ship with powerful armor. One of the variants of the post-war battleship project. Project 24, with 9 457mm guns as our main battery artillery. Of course. Survivability, 100. Artillery, 93. AA defense, 97. With over the AA went to bridge. Heal. Fast reloading DCP. Oh, the gimmick, the gimmick. Main battery firing range plus 10%. Maximum main battery shell dispersion minus 30%. Action time 25, so one volley. Required number of qualified gunshots, nine. What does nine even mean? That's like per turret, three volleys. Three volleys and you get slava mode. Kremlin with a funny button. That a funny button that is very powerful. Minus 30 is pretty insane. Three volleys, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Three full volleys. One turret is one gunshot, so. Six point five, fourteen point five, hundred and thirty-five thousand armor. 880 millimeters. What fucking part of this ship has 880 millimeters of armor? Holy shit. What the fuck does 880 millimeters? Jesus Christ. Even the even Yamato turret front is only 650 millimeters. And that's unbreakable. 880. What the fuck? 21.3 cam range, 30 knots. Jesus Christ. Datovarich. Holy shit. Dude, look at this. Look at these fucking guns here. Literally, Smolensk, 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 Smolensk. How many fucking Smolensk turrets does this thing have? 15 billion miles. Did it have 32? Wait, did it have 320,000 horsepower? Wonder what the acceleration is gonna be on this. Kremlin already accelerates like crazy fast, and Kremlin is like 180, I think. This thing is 320k. Helipad. World War II moment. Republic moment. Okay, well, maybe they compensate all these things by giving it weak armor, chat. Let's see. Okay, what are we looking at? 32, icebreaker of course 50, second icebreaker 180, 650, that's Yamato plating, that's Yamato turret plating, it's angled as well. Yeah, good luck fucking breaking these things, it's gonna be the back, 880 at the back, <laughs> just to make sure that even if the turrets are angled away you're not gonna fucking, is there anything that can smash past 880, is there anything that can smash past 880 in the game? I'm actually curious. Like, what about point blank Slava? What about point blank Slava? Like, Slava literally in your fucking face. Can Slava in your face smash through this? Let's see, Slava. Where the fuck is Slava? Point blank Slava. Yes, Slava can break these turrets within three kilometers. Okay, so now you know, chat. If you're only if you're within three, if you're past three, if you're within three kilometers, you can pin the back of the turret. Pog. The front, I don't think anyone can pin because it's angled as well. So good luck ever getting past that. The barbet is <laughs> 610 millimeters. Holy shit. 600. Holy shit. Jesus. What the fuck? That's a lot of. Hold 610. 
Good lord. Is there anyone who has 610 except this ship? I don't know if there are. Conning tower only 80. Very squish. Wait, no, there's another one. 530, here we go. It's hidden in there. And this is not citadels, by the way, for anyone who thinks it's not. They're, they don't count. Okay, so... 60mm deck armor, 150 upper belt, 450 second upper belt? Oh, it's layered armor. This is not citadel, by the way. Wait, doesn't Kremlin have exposed citadel? I think Kremlin has exposed citadel, but this thing doesn't have it. This is 450 and 425. This is layered armor. This is Kremlin with layered armor. Kremlin is already impossible almost to Citadel unless you're point blank. But this thing has the same angle but also layered armor. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Why are the barbettes for secondaries 80 as well? That's a shit ton by the way. Just saying. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh boy, we're in for a fucking treat, aren't we? Holy shit. Oh shit, okay, let's see. Let's start stripping away the layers of bullshit here. Okay, so the Citadel itself, 70, 75, 50. So it's got a layer and a huge black hole gap. Holy fuck. Yeah, you're never gonna Citadel this thing, chat. I'm just saying. You're never gonna fucking Citadel this thing. Holy shit. Actually, never. Claude, did you know that if you would depress the B turret into the, into the back of the A turret and shoot, it would still shatter? <laughs> this sounds about right. This sounds about right, man. Dude, who knew the Soviet armor makers were this fucking incredibly talented? Finally, I can say a full broadside and kill everyone as a potato, truly. You know the nose is gonna have so much hidden armor. Holy shit. 380 back here as well. Holy fuck. And 380 here as well. But you know there's gonna be hidden plating. Like, let's, let's do, uh... This. No, this. Oh, yeah! You know! Holy shit, there's gonna be so much hidden shit going on in here, chat. There's gonna be so much hidden shit, like, you know Slava has like a million hidden plates. You know Slava has like a million hidden plates inside inside the ship? This thing is gonna have the same fucking thing, guarantee it. Guarantee it's gonna have... So much hidden bullshit, like, this is, just so you know, this is what Sla like Slava's internal plating looks like. Like, Slava has, uh... Slava has in the bow, hidden in the bow, it's got a 420 millimeter plate, and this upper part here, I think it was something like 60, and then it had in the stern, it had another, I think something like 380 or something, or was it even 420? It had like another plate here. This is the Citadel, by the way. So Slava already has a shit ton, and it had hi hidden internal plates that protected every part of the Citadel. That's why you can't actually, like, that's why you can't overmatch. Citadel of Slava through the nose or through the stern, because... Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Fils Blödman. No, I mean, Slava already has a shit ton of internal plates, that's why you can't Citadel of Slava no nose in or stern in, it's impossible, the hidden plates eat them. So, this, you know this thing, this Ushakov, it's gonna be absolutely packed with hidden plates. Oh, it's got a booty... wait, what the fuck, it's got a booty 50mm as well. <laughs> what? Holy shit. 300. Holy fuck. And this isn't even like Citadel. This is just Stern. Holy shit. This might be the most armored ship we've ever seen in World of Warships. That's rudder protection, right? Holy fuck. So this is like... 450 plus 70 under the turrets, and 425 plus 50 under the turrets. I mean... Holy shit. Wait, what does Kremlin... Kremlin has like an exposed citadel and it's impossible to citadel. 
Kremlin has... What does Kremlin have? Kremlin has like... 430. And this is exposed citadel. And it's basically impossible to citadel. And this thing has another... What was it? 450 plus 75? Was it 430 plus 75? Regardless, like... It's gonna be so absurdly difficult to citadel this thing. Holy shit. 450 plus 70, I think it was? Yeah, it's, and it's gonna be spaced as well, which is gonna eat so many shells. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna be such a meme shooting this thing point blank in the broadside and getting a shatter and then an internal shatter. Like, Jesus. Wonder what's gonna be able to citadel this thing. What's the torque projection? I don't know. Wonder what's gonna be able to citadel this thing. How does it even float? That is a good goddamn question, because everything all that on it is so packed in armor. Jesus. I mean, nose in. How do you H spam it? You H spam this part. And it looks like these aren't actually hitboxes. I don't know if these are hitboxes. But they're so, like, nose in, you have to hit this part to, to H spam it. Hit this and this, I guess. <laughs> 135k health. Add in Kuznetsov! Remember, you can run Kuznetsov on this guy. Holy shit. Is this thing nuclear powered? I mean, wait, did you did it actually have 380k horsepower? Someone said it had, but that sounds absurd. 320k, sorry, 320k horsepower. Jesus. Holy shit. I'm just saying, chat. I'm just saying, to put into perspective 320k uh, horsepower, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that the level of wargaming fantasy that we're dealing with in World of Warships right now is... I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, to put it into perspective, the level of horseshit we're dealing with when it comes to Soviet ships right now. <laughs> it's, dude, like, seriously? This is so retarded, it really is. It really is. Holy fuck. Mmm. Yeah, so... Two A4W nuclear reactors are not quite as powerful as Wargaming's hopes and dreams. They are more powerful. Now we know. Now we know. Imagine, imagine the Soviets came up with this incredible design in 1949. Holy shit. No wonder their nuclear uh, power project has been such a success through history. They already knew how to do it back then. Fantastic. Thank you for the history lesson or gaming. What else do we have? Oh yeah, Schroeder. Schroeder. How can this thing even float? Don't fucking ask me. Like, <laughs> we asked that about the Kremlin, we asked that about the Petro, and now we're gonna have to ask it about the Ochakov. No, don't tell, don't fucking tell me. I don't know. Don't ask me, I don't know. And thank you, Romasai, and thank you, Blue Eyes. Hanover? How much horsepower does Hanover have? Oh shit, almost as much as Nimitz, but not quite as much as our Blyot power. Uh, 
Let's see, let's check out Mr. Was it Schroeder? Year design, 1945. A ship project based on an idea from the late 1920s to create a fast battlecruiser with 305mm artillery and relatively weak armor protection. Okay. Eighteen second reload, fair enough. Fifty nine point three K health, that's a lot. Eighteen point four range, that's also pretty nice. Thank you, Video J. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm I'm honestly I'm strongly expecting to get sick though. Like I, I, if I wake up tomorrow and I'm not sick, I'm gonna be so happy. Cause we're like we sat on the plane and the guy next to us was coughing, the guy in front of us to the left was coughing, and the guy behind us was coughing. So, I was just like, there is no way I come out of this intact. Hundred and sixty K health, thirty-two point five knots. Uh oh. Don't you dare skip TDT, I don't wanna skip TDT. Can you travel without getting sick? I I came home from uh Madrid in the spring and I didn't get sick so it's possible but we'll see 6 game hydro 15% speed boost oh shit 15% and it does 32.5 wait how fast does this thing go 32.5 times times the speed boost 39 39 God damn. Hmm. Okay. I'm kind of digging the camo. Kind of digging the camo. Kind of digging the look of this ship. I'm kind of digging like the, the look of this ship. Eight guns. Eight 305s. Hmm. It looks pretty cool. What kind of armor are we dealing with here? 27 nose. Istuimasa. Thank you for the 9. 30mm deck. Okay. That's okay ish. 90mm upper belt. So classic. It's gonna arm a lot of shit. Was this the secondary gimmick thing? I think it was. These are the Koenig 305s, not modern 305s, not Eger modern 305s. Oh shit, that's actually terrible. Interesting. That's actually terrible. 190, 190. Wasn't this the one that they made so they could resell the egg, secondary Eger? I think this is the one, yeah. This is the very steep turtleback that doesn't really work. Is this the one? 45, 60, 80, 190. It has a fair bit of armor, though. It has a fair bit of armor, though. Hmm. But this is the secondary. Look, all the secondaries are in the, Most of the secondaries are in the back. Let's go out of armor. I think this is... Yeah, this is the one where I reversed booty in and my secondaries farmed the shit out of people. I think this is going to be the same thing. If the firing angles are good on the secondaries, this thing might be a lot of fun. If it's like secondary Eger, because that ship was a ton of fun. Thank you, Zimatos, for the 37. Hmm. Same armor with Eger. Hmm. What's the main reload battery? 18. Yeah, I think very much a secondary ship with that kind of gun performance. Still, it looks, I like the looks, and if it's a secondary ship, it might be a lot of fun as well. 